Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm here with my dad and, uh, well, the hush truck too. By the way, before I get this vlog started, it's double entries week. So now through November 3rd, when you spend a dollar on the Get Hushin website, you get two entries to win the Tundra, the Jumpin' Jack, and all the camping stuff. So quick plug, GetHushin.com, new shirts, new hats, new flannels, elk game bags are in stock. So guys, please support us, GetHushin.com. Somebody is going to win this. By the way, just got home from the last giveaway we did, or one of the last giveaways we did was an elk hunt giveaway. Lucky guy named Adam from New York was the lucky winner and we took him on an elk hunt. And that video will be coming out soon on the Hushin channel, as well as my elk hunt will be on the channel as well. And as you can see, we got success, baby. So just wanna get you guys caught up. Um, and show you the good stuff. I always love to come home and show you guys the antlers, and the meat, and all the fun stuff. So this is a bull I shot with uh, my buddy Dreo. I also had Whitetail Fit, Joel, Mullet Man Mike was on the hunt, so collaboration videos are gonna also live on the Hushin channel. Best season yet, 4.0. We'll start November 1st. I'm gonna hand the camera to Dad and see if he's got the camera skills. Just basically pointing it over here. All right. Crazy how heavy these skulls are. So this was a last day bull on a unit that has decent elk. It's a great opportunity hunt. We usually don't see a lot of big ones. So to see this guy on the last day was perfect. Yeah, I made a killer shot on him. I did miss the first shot. Adjustments were made and I made the second shot. But the thing that surprised me was his teeth. And I wish I had the bottom jaw to show you guys. But this guy is so old. Possibly the oldest bull I've ever killed based off his teeth. Super pretty six point. Got a busted G1. Good mass down low. Pretty frame. Uh, one thing I always notice on old bulls, they always seem to have velvet. For some reason, this guy has velvet on the inside of his main beam. But his teeth were crazy. Come look at this. That's why I said I wish I had his lower jaw. Look at this giant molar. For whatever reason, it was really big and it was biting his lower jaw. Teeth were ground down and he was biting into his jaw bone. So super interesting, but you can see on the good side just how small his teeth are. I mean, I'll compare him. Well, I can't compare him to my Utah bull, but definitely worn down, old bull, possibly past his prime. Could have had bigger antlers earlier in his life, but still a great bull, especially for that unit. I'm gonna put him next to my Utah bull. Utah bull, like I said before, my other video. Kind of massy down low, but really tight, narrow and compact. You probably fit right in this sucker. Take a look at that. These are the two kills I've had so far for 2021. Both elk, my favorite animal to hunt. I still have some deer tags to go out in November, but to get two bulls and even almost a third one in Colorado, I feel super fortunate. A lot of people don't get the chance to hunt elk. Um, they apply and apply and apply for years and years and try to draw out a state tag and it just takes forever to draw those better units. But general season and then a land landowner voucher Gave me the opportunity to hunt New Mexico again. But yeah, check these guys out. If I had to throw numbers, I'd say this guy's lucky to hit 300. He might be just shy of 300 just because he's so narrow. That's going to kill him. Short beams, that's going to kill him. But still a great bull. And if I had to guess on this guy, if he wasn't broke, like if he was not broke there, I'm guessing 315. Maybe in this video we'll go give him a score. What do you guys think? It's pretty wild what it takes for a bull to even break 320, 330. You can see these are great bulls. A lot of people would love to shoot one like this, but uh, a lot of people always talk about that 350, 360, and I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of bone to hit that mark. 350 is a giant bull in my opinion. Anyways, dad came over because he's gonna help me with the meat. And uh, I've got two deep freezers that I keep all my meat in. And I know 
that it's probably that time of the year to reorganize these things, see what I got, see what I can give away to friends and family. Not much space in there. <laughs> Not much space in there. So I've got plenty of meat. I gave my entire Utah bull to the three hunters who helped me pack it out. Um, so this one I'm gonna give some to my dad, maybe his friends, some of my close friends, but we're gonna tear apart the freezers, kind of clear them out and uh, yeah, organize all this meat. Well, I made a little bit of room. This is all burger. This is a deer. This one is everything. Bear meat, axis deer, whitetail meat, mule deer meat, coos deer meat, elk meat, tuna fish. So this one's chuck full. I know it's not gonna fit in here, but I got a lot of friends coming to get some meat. My dad is taking this stash. That's a lot of meat right there, like a lot. A lot of uh, burger, him and his buddies like to use burger. And hopefully they'll make me some snack sticks, some jerky. Sending a whole bunch with dad to pass out to some of his friends. And then I've got these two Yetis. Oh, adjust, adjust with the lighting. Both of these full of the meat from New Mexico. It's already processed. The guys in Taos did it for me. So guys, we got all the meats. I mean, I already gave away a whole elk this year. <laughs> it's way more than I can ever eat myself, but lucky enough to be able to share it with friends and family, like I said. So that's what we'll do. Pack jam tight. Still frozen. I'm gonna take this in and transfer it into the deep freezer too. I got the goods, as you can see. I have three colorways here, the gray, the brown black, and the green black. I'll unfold them. I'll go to my house and unfold them for you, show you guys what's up. Um, also got a white tail hat and the Spectra camouflage from First Light for my buddy. Um, let me show you these flannels. So this one is a sample, but it's very true to the color red and black. Probably the top seller already is red and black. And I think the next one is gray and black. And then I would say green and then that one. But anyways, all four of them are really cool colors. Let me show you what the gray one looks like on it. All right, so this is graphite and black. The best thing about these flannels, guys, is the stretch. These are, these are not your ordinary flannel. Check that out. Typically, flannels are very tight across your shoulders. But because you got a stretch, it's comfortable. Heck, you can shoot your bow, hang out at camp, maybe a night out on the town in these bad boys. But uh, let me show you this one real quick. You guys get the deal. Uh, same cut, different colors. So graphite and black. This is a large on me. I wear large in t-shirts. People are asking me in my DMs, I just answered one, what size should I get? And I would just say they're very true to size. Guys, it's November 3rd. Can't believe it's November. But I have to give you guys a heads up. It's the very last day to win the Hushin Ultimate Hunt Camp giveaway, which includes this Toyota Tundra. I've told you guys before, I probably said it in this dang video already. Someone's gonna win this. I'm kind of bummed about it. Super happy for whoever wins it, but wish it was mine. The thing is in near mint condition. BMAC uh, always took care of it, always detailed it, services, etc., and always garaged. Somebody's gonna win this truck and a jumping jack trailer, um, eight by six, I think it's eight by six. We call it the eight footer blackout edition trailer, brand new, some Yeti camping equipment, some Camp Chef camping equipment, but most of all, this bad boy. So if you're not familiar with the uh, Hush and Giveaways, how it works is all you have to do is uh, shop anything at www.gethushin.com. Every $1 spend is actually two entries because the last week is double entries. So if you haven't purchased anything, now's the time to do it and today is the last chance to do it. So I wanna make sure this vlog gets up and let you guys know that you do have the opportunity to get in on the giveaway. I'd hate for you guys to miss out. So that's why I'm actually gonna try to vlog today and get this up, cut and uh, upload it onto the YouTube channel. Uh, good old Shed Crazies here. This is Rig. This little minivan, I freaking love it. Uh, he's enjoying sleeping in in my basement where it's nice and cool and dark. He's gotta head home today. 
but uh i didn't have really any updates right now i'm just headed to the gym oh i did want to show you inside the truck so i brought the keys out limited package sunroof leather heated seats the wood trim way nicer than my tundra <laughs> oh man i'm so jealous that someone's gonna win this thing guys the truck no joke near mint condition so um get in on the truck giveaway guys thank you for all the support anybody who has done the giveaways or shopped our merch for you know any time of the year thank you guys um we just got back from the hunt giveaway and uh our buddy adam from new york who won the elk hunt giveaway shot his first elk with a rifle and those will be on best season yet 4.0 the season has started on the hushin youtube channel they're kicking off with alaska i may have said all this stuff in the beginning of the video but just a reminder so uh thanks for watching i'm going to the gym and then we'll get back to the vlog <laughs>